Last week, Queensland's Gold Coast and Royal Pines played host to the Australian PGA, the final tournament of the year on the Aussie Tour. That made it the perfect time to recognise the most outstanding Australian player of the year with the inaugural presentation of the Greg Norman Medal. The great white shark was on hand for the ceremony and the former world number one was kind enough to sit down and talk about the current state of world golf and how important it is to remember your roots. You look back at your home country and say, this is where it all started for you and this is where you want to make sure that, that uh, the baton that you hand off uh, towards the game of golf, into the game of golf, uh, for the next players coming through it was the right baton. You know, I'm very, very proud of having the medal in my name. One of the highlights of the evening was cancer survivor Jared Lyle being presented the PGA Tours Award for Courage. But when it came to the big one, it was no great surprise to hear the name of Jason Day read out. The US PGA champion left quite an impression on Norman when they first met. I remember coining a phrase with Jason, he had the fastest hip action in golf, as far as I'm concerned, still does to this day. He's a massive speed in his lower body, and uh, you know that impressed me even at, at, at a very young age. Uh, when we played in Cool. Norman won 90 times worldwide, including two Open Championships, and his exploits made him a hero to an entire generation of Australian golfers, including Jason and Australia's first Masters champion, Adam Scott. I remember the influence Jack Nicklaus had on me, or Raymond Floyd, or Tom Watson, or Lee Trevino. You know, I remember those. Uh, just as much as the Jason does and the Matt and, and the Adam Scotts do. It's, uh, it's important that we all looked up to our heroes and made sure we respected our heroes and kept them ahead of us because it was really a benchmark of where we wanted to go. Day's five wins on the PGA Tour in 2015, highlighted by his record-breaking performance at Whistling Straits, means he's now seen by many as a worthy challenger to the game's other young superstars, fellow major champions in Rory McIlroy and also in Jordan Spieth. The world of elite golf is probably the best it's been since the mid-80s. And what I mean by that is that you have a plethora of great players of elite players. You mentioned three of them, but there's probably another six to nine supporting cast that are probably equal, really close, snapping at the heels of doing it. So you're gonna see this number one baton get handed back and forth, back and forth over the next couple of years, which is only healthy for the game of golf. The state of the PGA Tour and its new generation of stars have Norman fondly remembering his own glory days. He spent 331 weeks on top of the official world rankings and won those two claret jugs, but he was certainly made to work for it. And I remember so well in the 80s and the early 90s, going up against the Ballesteros of the world and the Paolos of the world. And no matter where we went to play, there was always three or four of us, or four or five of us in the field that always pushed each other, always, always pushed each other. And you, you, it wasn't a guaranteed victory for you just because you're the, the best player in the field. As important as it is for the best players in the world to be racking up tournament wins and setting a high standard of performance on the course, Norman believes it's equally vital for the stars of the PGA Tour and the European Tour to give back off the course as well. Based on what he's seen so far from the current crop, he feels the game of golf is in good hands. This group we have nowadays, a great group of kids, right? They, they accept the responsibilities of what they have to do for the game of golf on a global front. To see Jordan Spieth come down here and defend his title, you know, congratulations to him. The responsibility of number one is way more than any other, other, other player. He's accepted that responsibility and he's come back. So um, look, for some, look for some great fireworks coming out of these boys in the years to come.